Hey guys, ADHD here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build this awesome Michael Myers house block for block. It's a little bit, you know, but bit gruesome, I guess, but it's Halloween time, so I decided to build this. And I actually built this last night after binge watching the Halloween movies in order to prepare for the new movie that's coming out. So I decided to build this one for you guys. It looks freaking awesome. Classic Michael Myers coming out of the closet in the dark with his giant knife. It's really, really crazy looking. And I'm pretty excited to show you guys how to build it. I'm going to get started right now, guys. But before we get started, please do me a huge favor and hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. That would be so awesome. And like I said, I'd appreciate it a lot. So let's go ahead and get started right now on building this. And if you guys like this Michael Myers build, I also have a Pennywise in gutter build that I just did last week that you guys absolutely loved. So if you like the horror build, check this one out after this video out as well. And if you let me know down below what other horror builds you guys want to see. But anyway, let's get started on this. So for this build, guys, what you're going to actually need is only a few things. We're going to start with Michael Myers. And once we get to the door and like the closet way and everything like that, we'll need a few more things. But starting out, all we'll need is black concrete, blue wool, red concrete, white terracotta, white concrete, light gray concrete, brown wool, and a polished adesite, and the grass block you don't need. So just that stuff for right now. If we need anything else, I'll make sure to let you guys know. We're gonna get started right now, so go ahead and get that stuff out, guys. Pause the video and get that out. And as always, guys, if at any point during this video you feel like I'm going too fast, you can always pause or rewind the video at any point in order to catch up. But anyway, let's get started. Like I said, I'm going to be going very slowly, block for block, so you should be fine. But if you need to, always remember that. So starting off, we're going to use our black concrete, and we're going to work to the right here. It's going to be a total of eight blocks of black concrete going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So one straight row of eight black concrete right here. Then what we're going to do is another row of the exact same thing, just like this right on top of it. So two rows. I've just eight black concrete, just like that. Next row, we're gonna get our blue wool out, and it's gonna be a complete row of the same length with a blue wool, just like this. Boom, told you guys this was easy. So let's get, things are gonna change up a little bit on this row, but not by much. So the next row is gonna be a total of six blue wool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one red concrete, then one blue wool. Next row is gonna be one blue wool, three red concrete, one, two, three, one blue wool, then two red concrete, one, two, then one blue wool. Next row is gonna be two blue wool, one, two, two red concrete, one, two, one blue wool, then three red concrete, one, two, three. Next row is gonna be a total of six blue wool, one, two, three, four, five, six, then finish it up with two red concrete. Boom and boom. Then our next row right here, guys, is going to be a total of five, five, count them, five rows of blue wool. So one, two, three, four, and five, just like that. So now things are going to change up a little bit right here. So what we're going to do is go on the left side right here, and we're going to actually start building his hand. So we're going to get out our white terracotta, and we're going to go to the left here this way, a total of three, or no, it's actually two white terracotta, one, two, and then two red concrete for some more of that splatter right there. So that's gonna be his left arm right there. And then over here, we're gonna do the same thing on the right side, but a little different. It's gonna be one white terracotta, two red wool, or red concrete, one, two, then one white terracotta. And then now what we're gonna be doing, guys, is actually working left to right on top of this whole long thing right here. It's basically finishing his whole front. So next row is gonna be four white terracotta, one, two, three, four. Then a full row of eight blue wool, one, two, three. Or sorry, yeah, I'm making sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I thought I messed up for a second there, but it's a complete row of eight. Or actually, I did mess up. This first block right here, guys, sorry, is actually a red concrete. There you go. And then over here, what we're gonna do is continuing on from his arm right here. It's gonna be one white terracotta, one black concrete, which is going to be the handlebar of the knife later, guys. Then one red concrete, and then one white terracotta, just like that. All right, I'll back up. Sorry that row messed up, guys. So just an overview here. It was four white terracotta, one red concrete, seven blue wool, one white terracotta, one black concrete, one red concrete, then one white terracotta. Sorry about that. So next row, guys, is going to be four white concrete. One, two, three, four. 
then it's gonna be a total of eight blue wool for real this time all right one two three four five six seven and eight then it's gonna be another row of four white concrete so one two three and four next row guys is gonna be eight blue con blue wool one two three four five six seven and eight and then it's gonna be one black concrete and then it's gonna be the remainder blocks left, which is seven blue blue wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like that. So basically just all was just blue wool, except for that one. And then the next row, guys, is gonna be the exact same thing for two rows, the exact same thing. So all blue wool, one black concrete, all blue wool. Then the next row, like I said, there's two rows of that exact same thing. So the next row is the same thing, just all the way across, blue wool, till you get to this black, then one black then all blue wool. So basically three rows of that exact same thing once we get to this black part right here. Just like that, guys. So the next row, guys, is gonna be like this, a little bit different, eight blue wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then a one black wool, then a one blue wool, then one red concrete, then a total of five blue wool. One, two, three, four, and five. And then our next row is gonna be exactly the same, guys. The exact same thing. Very simple build like I told you guys. So it's gonna be the exact same thing, just like that. All right, perfect. Next row is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be four blue wool. One, two, three, four. One red concrete. Three blue wool. One, two, three. One black concrete. One blue wool. One red concrete and then five blue wool. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. Next row, guys, is gonna be four blue wool. One, two, three, four. One red concrete, then three blue wool. One, two, three. Then one black concrete. Then the rest is gonna be a total of seven blue wool, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, just like that. Then our next row, guys, is very, very similar. It's very simple, actually, here. All it's gonna be a seven blue wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then two white terracotta. One, two. Then another seven blue wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then the next row, guys, is gonna be six blue wool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then four white terracotta. One, two, three, four. Then the rest is gonna be blue wool for six blue wool, guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. So that is our whole front right here, guys. And the sides are super, super easy. So just follow along with me, guys. So that's our front right here, and then we're gonna do the sides. That's coming over to the right side. What we're gonna do is get our black concrete out, and we're gonna take this part right here, this first block, you know, I guess it was last block of the first row, <laughs> over here, and bring it back a total of five blocks, guys. So one, two, three, four and five next row the exact same thing then guys we're gonna do three rows of plain blue wool so one two and three then the next row is gonna be one red concrete then four blue wool one two three four next row after that's gonna be one red concrete then four blue wool one two three and four and then the next row guys is gonna be four blue wool going straight up so one two, three, and four. Then what I want you guys to do is turn left to this hand right here. We have created right here. We're gonna take our white terracotta and we're gonna pull this back all the way till it matches the same length as our blue wool right here using white terracotta in a straight, just straight rows all the way until it mimics the same length as this arm over here, or this back piece right here, just like this. So they should line up perfectly. All right. And then what we're gonna do guys, is we're gonna go around the outside layer of this with our white terracotta, just like this, because this is what's gonna be exposed. All right. And then what I want you guys to do is get the white concrete and do the exact same thing on the next row. And then for the rest of this, all blue wool, the exact same way. Just take your blue wool all the way up until you get to the top. All right. And I know that this part right here is like, you know, kind of playing with all blue wool the rest of the way up. But if you want to, you can add more blood splatter or less. It doesn't really matter. I think that it's, you know, I did mine in a certain way because I thought it would be more realistic. So, and also because the door is right here and blocks off a lot of this bit. So I didn't really want to add too much detail because it's more work. 
and you know we're not even gonna see it so I didn't want to make it overly complicated for you guys just to do something that we're not even gonna see like in the back you don't even get to see Michael Myers back so there's no real purpose and that's doing too much detail in the back so you could add more blood splatter over here if you wanted to whatever you guys want to do but I think it looks fine like that so now what we're gonna do is come to the back over here we have that finished and that's his arm right there guys he just finished this left arm right here now we're gonna do the same thing over here on this side and all we're gonna do for this is get our black wool same thing our black concrete I mean come to the left side now and you're literally gonna replicate that side except for this red it's even easier because it's all blue pretty much but I'll do it with you guys so bring this back by five blocks one two three four and five and then what I want you guys to do is do another row of the exact same thing then you're gonna do blue wool all the way up until it matches this exact same height as this side over here so just all blue wool and again guys if you want to add more blood splatter using the red concrete go ahead and do so but like i said you're not really even going to see the sides that well because of the way that like the actual building is built so you don't have to do that but if you want to feel free to do so all right and then this side over here all i'm going to do differently is i'm going to put one red concrete in this corner right here and then the rest is going to be all white terracotta just so it seems like some of the splatter kind of pulls around a little bit so just all white terracotta and then same thing we did on this side or take this corner bring it all the way back connect it over here as well and then do the same thing with the white concrete part bring this all the way back connect it over here and then blue wool all the way up until the top guys you guys know what to do at this point it's just all blue wool and it doesn't you know it takes a little bit of time but normally I skip ahead for this part but I'm just gonna do this with you guys we're gonna see how close to one take we can make this video I mean I'd probably have to edit out some stuff but you know I think I think I think this build is actually easy enough to where I can do it and probably close to less than three cuts I don't really know so we're almost there got a little bit more left to go one more row here and boom so now we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the bottom back right here and again guys you will not see this at all that's actually like not a perfectly same way that one over there this this Pennywise one my display one this is like my template for the tutorial and then the final one comes out better you're it's not gonna look that weird in the back but you're not gonna see Michael Myers back at all so all we're gonna do is this we're just gonna do two rows of black concrete and then literally blue concrete or blue wool the rest of the way like for everything else so i'm gonna do it with you guys and again the reason why i did like this guys is, is you literally will not be able to see this at all so there's no real purpose in doing too much back here so we're just gonna remove all this like when i first built it i actually added like his um utility belt and stuff like that because he has like a little pouch in the back here and like some of the movies and stuff and i decided to keep put that in there and then I removed it because I was like there's no purpose in like making it harder for them and you know for you guys if you're not gonna see it so I try and make them as simple as I can and remove anything that's too extra that doesn't need to be there just because like I know it can be harder and I know you guys just want the thing built so anything that's not gonna be seen is definitely not needed here so we're just gonna remove all of that and we're just gonna do plain blue wool for the rest of this so just take it all the way up until the top and boom that is the back right there and then now what we're gonna do guys is really simple we're gonna actually work on Michael Myers head so what we're gonna do for Michael Myers actual face is we're gonna get out our white concrete right here and what we're gonna do is on this part right here we have a white terracotta out of these four blocks we're just gonna go ahead and do the white concrete right on top of that the exact same length just so we can get a starting point here and then what I want you guys to do is go left two with the white concrete one two and then right two with the white concrete one two just so we get our starting line right here okay so then what I want you guys to do is take your white concrete and do the exact same thing one more row on the front of that just like this then what we're doing is building Michael's face on the left side here front to this way so we're gonna need our light gray concrete and also our white concrete and then a little black concrete later and some brown wool and that's all we're gonna need for his face so first row is gonna be one white concrete again guys are building on the front here one white concrete one light gray concrete then it's gonna be a total of five white concrete one two three four five then one light gray concrete then the next row guys is gonna be one light gray concrete two white concrete one two then a space of two right here then three white concrete one two three and then behind that space i just want you guys to place two black concrete just like this boom boom and that's just so there's a hole in his actual mask for his mouth next thing guys is going to be two light gray wool one two then it's going to be all the way to the other side six white concrete one two three 
four, five, six, just like that. Next row is gonna be one light gray concrete, two white concrete, one, two, two light gray concrete, one, two, then three white concrete, one, two, three. Then the next row is gonna be one light gray concrete, a space of two, two white concrete, a space of two, then one white concrete. And again, behind those spaces, I want you guys to place a black concrete, just like that, right behind them. Just like this, so that way those are his eyes in the mask right there. All right, and then the next row is gonna be like this. It's gonna be one brown wool. Then it's gonna be six white concrete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then one brown wool. Then the next row, guys, is gonna be one brown wool. One light gray concrete. Five white concrete, or sorry, six white concrete. One, two, three. Four, or sorry, five, five, five white concrete guys, sorry about that. So just go and go back to make sure you don't make mistakes there. Right after this light gray, five white concrete. One, two, three, four, and five. And then one brown concrete, just like this. And then we're gonna do his hair, which is like kind of weird. And all we're gonna do is on this left side and this right side, we're gonna place one, one brown wool outward on both of those. And then follow along with me. And the left one, we're gonna bring it out one to the left, then down one on that block. And then on top of this block we started with, we're gonna go up one and then straight over to that one until it connects. Like a little weird like hairdo he has. It's just like that. And then over here on this one, we're gonna bring it out one, then down one the same way. And I'll back up so you can take a look at that. Or oops, I actually removed one right here to mean to. Just like that until it connects, like I said. So it's like this little like like seagull haircut he has. <laughs> just like that. Once we have the sides, it'll look a little bit better. But right now that's what he has going on there. All right, and then now we're gonna get started on the sides here and then we'll fill in that other part as well. So what I want you guys to do is get the white concrete out and all we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take this back a total of three blocks, or sorry, two white concrete blocks like this, one, two. Then we're gonna get our brown wool out and you're gonna do three brown wool. So one, two, three, just like that. Next row guys, just follow along with me. It's gonna be a total of three white concrete, one, two, three. Then it's gonna be four brown wool. One, two, three, four. Just like that. All right, perfect. Then the next row, guys, is gonna be like this. It's gonna be one, or sorry, three white concrete. One, two, three. Then the same thing, four brown wool. One, two, three, four. Then the next row, guys, is gonna be like this. It's gonna be one brown wool, two white concrete. One, two. Then four brown wool. Then the rest is brown wool all the way up until the top. Until it matches this piece right here. And then we're gonna cut that piece right there and boom. So now we have Michael Myers hair right there done and ready to go. Now we're gonna do the left side over here guys. And the left side is identical to that side over there. So we're just gonna go and copy that if you want to or you can just follow along with me. And it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be two white concrete, one, two. Then three light uh, brown wool, one, two, three, just like that. Next row, same thing, three white concrete, one, two, three. Then four brown wool, one, two, three, four. Next row, the exact same thing, three white concrete, four brown wool, one, two, three, four. Next row is gonna be one brown wool, two white concrete, one, two. Then a four brown wool, one, two, three, four. And then the rest, brown wool, just like this so we get to the top. All right, and perfect, just like this. And then our back is just gonna be all brown wool. I know normally, guys, his the head would come off one block, but the reason we didn't do it that way is because, again, you're not gonna actually see the back of his head, so that's actually connected with the darkness in the background. So, again, just brown wool. Just trust me, guys, follow along with me. <laughs> so we're just gonna fill all this in till we get to the top with the brown wool. And this is gonna be a house, so you could replace this part up here with glass. You can put brown stained glass as a sunroof, or you can just fill it in. I'm just gonna fill mine in, to be honest, just to give it more of a classic look. But you could easily put a window up there, so that way you have a little bit of extra sunlight coming through in the Minecraft world, if you know what I mean. So, we'll just go ahead and get this filled in all the way. I don't know why I said, if you know what I mean, like they didn't have any other meaning besides like literally what I said. <laughs> but for some reason I said that. All right, so now what I want you guys to do is get your blue wool and fill in these cracks right here, just like this. The reason why we did it like that was just that way you know exactly where to add, you know, you don't want to 
put black blue wool this whole way and take up more space than we need to and more resources to just cover up the parts that actually show just like this all right almost done here and boom okay so we are almost finished with michael myers now we're gonna add his knife his you know his famous knife and then we're actually gonna start on the door so what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna get our black concrete out and right where we put this black dot right now we're gonna put one and then put one right below it just like that so it should be two blocks wide just like that or you know what? actually we're gonna place one right there and we're gonna do one outward and one downward so that way it looks like the handle gets thinner and if we don't like that we can change it but just a little L right there on that piece then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get out our polish out of sight and from the top we're gonna go down three blocks so one two three and then we're gonna do that a total of four three more times so one two three one two three one two three so it should be four rows of just that polish out of sight and this is where things get a little different it's gonna be one red concrete then two polish out of sight one two next row is gonna be two red concrete one two then one polish out of sight and then it's gonna be three red concrete one two three then next is gonna be two red concrete one two then we're gonna do that again one two and then we're gonna do one red concrete and that is his giant knife right there looks freaking vicious if you ask me or if like i said if you want you can just fill this in right here this last block to make it like one solid piece i think it kind of looks better just like that so I'm gonna leave mine like, nah, actually it does kind of look better as one solid piece. So, so that's his knife right there. I think it looks awesome. And you could make it smaller because you know, this almost looks like a machete, but I, I don't know, I wanted to make it big and giant. So I made it like that. So that is the Jason Voorhees guys. Now let's get started on actually adding the doorway around him is which makes it look just so much more intense and so much more creepy. Can you imagine? You're just walking around in Minecraft, just like la 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 la. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I've just run so fast. <laughs> I'd be gone if I just turned and saw this in my world. Be, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to actually show you, I'm going to show you guys now how to build the whole doorway as well. And trust me guys, it looks difficult, but it's really, really simple. It's just really big. That's all it is. Okay guys, so for the actual door, we're going to need brown concrete, white concrete, block of gold and also black concrete i'm pretty sure it's all we're gonna need if we need anything else i'll let you guys know we're also gonna need some red concrete later on in order to do the blood that's coming out of the room so keep that in mind as well guys so just go ahead and get that stuff out right now and we're gonna start on the door and again guys the door is super easy just about getting the placement and then making a bunch of lines basically so what we're gonna do is come to the left side of michael myers again guys pause if you need to get this equipment out still this is what we'll need come to the front left corner of him and we're gonna get our red block or just any block just account and we're gonna go in like from this inside block right here three so one two and then this is the third block right here so from this block right here this will be the third one we're gonna count outward 13 blocks so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen all right, and then just go ahead and remove those two placeholder blocks right there. On the 13th block, you're just going to place a placeholder block so we know exactly where we're at. And this is where our first archway of the door is going to start going around him. So what we're going to do now is get our white concrete, and right where that placeholder block is, we're just going to remove it, and we're going to go up, guys. We're going to go up, 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 up. And we're going to go up a total of 38 blocks, guys. 38. So count with me, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. <laughs> okay, so once you've done that, guys, now what you're going to do is take this one right here and you're going to work to the right a total of 29 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Right there. Whew. So that's where our doorway is going to be right there, guys. That's where it's going to come right down onto Mr. Mike. So you can see the other one over there, for example, right there. And that's how it's actually going to work. So 
now what i want you guys to do is on that 29th block that we just did i want you guys to go straight down to the floor until you meet the floor now you don't need to count these ones we're just gonna go straight down until we make contact and boom contact has been made so now that we've done that guys things are gonna get a little bit interesting because what we're actually gonna do is as you guys can see there should be about let's see there should be about one two three and four rows between Mike in this one of the rows we're gonna actually be going through Mike's body so we're gonna need to take these ones out but only one row so how we're gonna do this guy is we're just gonna go on the inside of this six times so just literally don't even have to count it we're just gonna go straight around this six times so we already done one so we're gonna do this five times this is one right here so again guys five times so this would be six blocks thick this whole little archway we just made so this is the second of five or seven second of six just like this guy so now you should have uh, two. <laughs> so two of them. So we're going to do that six times in total, guys. So we have two already. We're going to do it four more times. And we're just going to keep going around this archway. I'm going to skip ahead while I do that. But again, guys, when you get to the last row, I know it'll seem like, all right, maybe I'll just do it with you guys. I'll just like fast forward or something. I'm not really sure. Just I don't want you guys to miss, mess this part up because I know it can be kind of confusing for some people just during this little, just to have to go through it and not explain when. So I'm just going to do it with you guys. So we're going to do this again. This is going to be, this whole archway we make should make, be six blocks thick. So we're at three right now. So now we're just going to go ahead and keep doing this until it's six blocks thick. So we're now, this will be our fourth one. And if you guys that are like expert builders that know what I'm going to do, you guys can just go ahead and skip ahead. But just for, you know, just so everybody can build this thing, we're going to go ahead and build it row by row. And I'm not going to skip ahead during this part. So now we're at four. Now we're going to go ahead and do this another two more times. This will be our fifth one right here, guys. And this is the one after this that I was saying. It's a little bit tricky. Uh, not too tricky, but it's a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and go down again all the way and now you see we've made contact with mike so the next row is actually going to go through him just kind of like he's leaning against it so the next row we're going to do again so this will be our sixth row guys and this one like i said is going to go through mr mike myers so we're going to get to the top here then we're going to go all the way over here and then we're going to keep going down the same way you've been going down guys just like this except for now we're actually going to remove through Mike just so we can actually build through him so I'm just gonna go straight through all the way to the bottom right here and then take this all the way back up until it connects and boom so now we have the archway actually done of the build I know it looks a little wild right now because we haven't added the door yet so we have the archway done let's add our door all right guys so for the door this is how it's gonna work what I want you guys to do you're gonna get the brown wool out right now and all we're going to do is this, guys. You're going to come to the bottom right here. And again, guys, your archway should be six blocks thick. So do not forget that, guys. It should be exactly six blocks thick. So what you're going to do is on this left side right here, we're going to find one space. I want you guys to go right here, this left corner, this like right corner of the left side of the archway, and go to the left one block and place two brown concrete going to the left. So boom, boom. Literally just like that, guys. Then what I want you guys to do is go diagonal to the right one concrete. Then go diagonal to the right, one concrete, and then to the right, straight, one concrete. So it should be two, then one, then two. Then the next one is going to be two diagonal concrete with a brown concrete. One, two. And on that second block, it's just going to be one concrete to the left, to the right, just like that. Then after that, we're going to do the same, same exact thing basically two more times. So two diagonal concrete, one, two, then one to the right. Then two diagonal concrete, one, two, then one to the right. So that way you guys get, a look at, get an idea of what it looks like. Again, it's just right here, one space away from the outside of the crack. Two, one to the right, 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 two. And again, guys, there's a look at it. If you need to copy it, you know, trace it exactly, there's what it looks like. So now what I want you guys to do is go to this left one over here, and you're going to go straight up with the brown concrete until it gets to the exact same height as the inside of our archway and I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're gonna go all the way up just like this until it gets to right here, the exact same height as this opening right here. And now what I want you guys to do is do that for this left one as well. And then we're gonna do the inside pieces to finish this all up. So we'll do this right like this. And now let's do the outside place, which is the only thing that's not just all brown. So we're gonna do the door handle real quick on the right side here. So what I mean by that guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come, we did that row right there, it's all the way to the height. 
We're gonna do this one right here because uh, all these ones are just brown. So we're just gonna fill those in. We're gonna do this one because it's the only one that has any difference. So these two blocks right here are gonna go up a total of 16 blocks, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And then from right here, guys, you're gonna go ahead and do four black concrete. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna do brown concrete all the way up until it matches that side over there. So it should be the same exact side as the one over there. So just make sure they're the same exact height, which they are, so we're good. Next row, you're gonna do the exact same thing. You can just go ahead and just, just wing it, and then when you see the black, just stop. Then do four black concrete. One, two, three, four. Then just do brown concrete the rest of the way up until it matches this one again. All right, and then I want you guys to come down to the center of those two black blocks, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, I'm not flying, why am I not flying? I need to fly. Okay, we're gonna need to place four blocks of gold in the center of those black blocks we place, black concrete. And that is our little door handle right there. It should be perfect, and it is. And now all I want you guys to do is get the brown concrete and take all these rows up to the same exact height as this front right here, which is like the other piece we just did, just like that. So this is all brown concrete. We're gonna take all of these all the way up. I'm gonna skip ahead for this part, guys, just cause it's a lot of filling in. But again, guys, just brown concrete all the way until it connects to this side. So again, I'm gonna skip ahead for that. Go ahead and pause the video right now and fill this in with the brown concrete. Okay, guys, so we added our door and we have our doorway. Now it's not looking exactly just right. Same way the Pennywise house needed to be done. We need to add some black concrete in order to give it that depth, that darkness where you don't know what's back there. And then we have the blood dripping out. That's like, oh my gosh, what is in there with him? We're gonna never know. So that's why we need to actually add that. Otherwise, it kind of just looks like he's, I don't know, he doesn't look that scary. He kind of looks like a nice guy, you know, walking through a door, except for with a knife and, you know, blood all over him. But <laughs> we're just gonna ignore that. So we're gonna go ahead and get out our block of our black concrete. And what I want you guys to do is come to this side right here and take this back a total of, let's see, four blocks should be good. So one, two, three, four. And then do the same thing over here on this side, guys, on this side of the doorway. One, two, three, four. And then I want you guys just to connect them over to that side. And like I said, you will not see the back of Michael Myers. That's why I was saying I don't want to do too much detail back there. And we're going to connect this just like this. Now here comes the boring part, guys. We're gonna need to take this all the way until it gets to the exact same height as our top here. So just take all of this big giant black frame we made and you're gonna take it all the way up until it's the same height as this. I'll show you exactly what I mean. And again, guys, I'm going to skip ahead for that because it'll take freaking forever. So I'm gonna skip ahead real quick and you guys just go ahead and fill this in right now too. So all of that is black concrete. Again, guys, go ahead and pause the video right now and fill this in with me. Okay guys, and then just cause like in case anybody might need, you know, some guidance in this part, you're gonna leave Michael Myers' arm actually exposed right here in this particular spot. So you're gonna take black wool up until you get connected right here. And then just take black wool up the rest of the way. We're actually gonna cover this in a white shell later. So don't worry about it. You won't be seeing Art Michael's arm just like randomly sticking out there. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. So we're gonna take this all the way back just like this until we get to the top, like I said. And then we're gonna fill the rest of this in just on top, just like this, just filling it in completely with that black, just like I said, so it gives it that really, really scary, deep, dark abyss to it, you know, kind of feel to it. So we're almost done here, and boom! Okay, so now you guys can kind of see it's a lot more creepy now that we have that darkness back there, but we're still not done. So now what we need to do is get our red concrete out, guys. What I want you guys to do is come over here to this back area right here. And you guys know I like to add stuff to all my builds, kind of like Pennywise's Pond or the, the sparkles on the Hero Brian, uh, Nether Hero Brian over there. I like to add stuff to the builds that gives everybody's house a little bit of like a unique difference between you. Because I know a lot of people are going to be building this house. So I want to give yours something uniquely different from everybody else's. So I'm going to be showing you how to do the blood on the floor there. But I want you not to copy me exactly block for block. But to kind of give yourself your own blood puddle. So that way everybody that builds this will have a different puddle that's not exactly the same. So here's how we're going to do it guys. I'm not going to show you block for block. But here's a rough way of doing it. So come out here to the edge right here. Remove these blocks right here. And all you're gonna do is just make a random jagged like you know shape up until you get here so i'm just gonna remove randomly blocks right here and you're just gonna remove it all the way out like it depends on how bad i think i did mine pretty far out i want to make mine kind of like leaning that way you're just gonna make a jagged shape that goes around this all the way however far you want to make it 
And again, guys, do not, you know, follow me block for block. You know, you don't have to. If you want to, you can. But I recommend doing it this way. It gives your, like I said, your build a little bit of a difference between everybody else's. And it's really not that hard. All you have to do is just remove, like I said, random blocks until it gets to a unique shape that matches your own, like, you know, just random, completely random. So that's my shape right there. I just made a random shape. And I don't really like that one too much. So I'm going to adjust it a little bit by expanding it a little bit over here. And all, that's all I did for that one over there. There's no secret technique to it, guys. I literally just removed a random amount of blocks just like this until I got a shape that I like. And um, that's kind of a good shape. I don't mind that shape too much right there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that right there. Maybe give it a little bit of an overhang right here where the blood comes in here. And then now that we have kind of a shape going here, you can either change or adjust it however you would like to do yours. We're going to remove all of the, I'm going to fill this in right here because we don't want that open right there. We're going to remove all of the grass or whatever block you have inside of here now up until the black wool. So all of this grass outside of our frame, I'm going to go ahead and remove. So again, guys, pause the video and remove all your inside stuff after you've made your frame. All right. So go ahead and do that again, guys. I'm going to skip ahead, pause the video right now and do all that. Okay, guys, and once you've removed all that dirt, now all you're going to do is get that red concrete, and you're going to do the exact same thing you just did, except for opposite. Now you're going to place the red concrete everywhere, guys. So again, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead because it's going to take some time. You go ahead and pause the video right now, and again, you're just going to fill in with red concrete all of this excess stuff out here you just removed, just like this, guys. So go ahead and do that, guys. Again, I'm going to skip ahead, but go ahead and pause the video and fill this in with that red concrete. Okay, guys, so like I said, this is how it should look now. The blood is kind of splattered. I love this. Like, I love, I know some people want to do block for block, but this is why I do like this. I do everything else for block for block, but I like giving something that separates. Like, you know, this house looks different from that house over there. Like, you know, they look the same, but the blood splatter is different. I like the builds being like that because that way, you know, no matter who builds it, everybody looks a little bit different. So, your, if you just got done building this, yours should use, would look uniquely different from anybody else who watched watch the same video. I like giving the little things that separate them like that. So that's why I recommend you do it as well. But if you want to, you can just copy mine. If you want to just look at, you know, slow the video down or whatever you can, but I really recommend you do it that way. But anyway, enough rambling. So now what we're going to do is get the white concrete. And what I did on mine is I actually made like a little bit of an outside frame, but you can actually bring it out more. Basically just your white concrete and go around this entire black right here just like this. I'm not going to do this for the tutorial, it's going to take up a lot more time and it's nothing really too complicated. Take this all the way around just like this and just like we did the black, take it all the way up and cover the top or what you could do is you could take this all the way out here as far back as you really want to connect it to that side and then this whole back piece could be like an attic or a living space that you don't really go to that often but has a lot of space if you want to that's up to you guys or you can do what's called um just leave it the way it is that, that's work that works too <laughs> but i recommend you at least do the white wall around this outside area so you cover up michael myers arm as well but this is how i actually made mine on that one over there is i actually created a door over here on this side and like I said, guys, you guys have been liking how I've been actually skipping some of the interior parts just because a lot of you guys want, you know, want me to spend more time on the outside and give you more detail there. So that's what I've been doing. And what I would do recommend, though, doing on the inside, let's get like a beacon or just something for some light real quick. We're just going to do this. I recommend doing a floor down here, then taking it up here, creating a floor across this. That could be a living space right here. If you take a floor and bring it across this whole area right here, you can make this a living space. Add as many floors up here as you want, really, and then turn his head into your actual bedroom right here. By making a floor right here, you could add a bed, all types of stuff up here. And then if you extend that back piece, like I was telling you guys, all you have to do is go through here. And if you had an extended back, this could be like your whole warehouse if you wanted to, which would be really, really cool. But that stuff's super easy. It's just building a lot of space, basically, as you guys know. So that is actually with the actual tutorial part, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. That would be so, so awesome. Please, guys, do that. Helps me out a lot. And like I said, I really, really appreciate it. But that is actually it for the tutorial part of this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do me a huge favor and hit that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys want to extend the doorway a little bit up, you could. Maybe like three more rows. You have to extend this as well. But I went for more of a Minecraft design where you're like the exact same height as the doorway, which I think is cool. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.